Okay guys, today we're gonna to be harvesting some of our carrots. We're gonna be planting some stuff. We're gonna be planting uh, our giant carrots in these, uh, filling them up with some more dirt and stuff. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna have some fun, hang out with us today. Lots of work going on, planting more stuff. Lots of things going on. All right, so hang out with us today and let's enjoy the ride. These here are, this is Illumina carrot. We'll pick some more of these over here. I'm gonna leave some that are going to seed, not all of them, but a couple of them, so we can get some seeds off of them, but the majority of them is gonna be harvested. I don't think many of them are very good. Uh, it got hot and they quit growing. So, come over here. There's Illumina carrots here. And we've got some all right ones. I mean, that's a, that's a decent little carrot, nothing big. We'll, we'll be able to get some food off of it. Probably could take these two right here and stick them back in the dirt and grow something off of them, but I'm not going to. Uh, I don't think, at least not yet. <laughs> so. Yeah, see, they, uh, they got hot. Now I might replant some of these let these grow because these are these are getting there another two weeks or so these will probably be all right maybe i'm not giving them enough water this year because usually they do really good for carrots usually do very good for me that one not bad but not great There's a good one. There's a decent one right there. I knew we had some good ones in there. We'll keep picking them. I gotta make some videos for TikTok and Instagram. So hang on a minute. So while y'all were gone, we picked a few more that were pretty good. So far we've got, uh, we got a nice little bunch of them here. Yeah, we're not done picking these yet. There's a couple good ones in there. Nothing to write home about. Definitely not like my giant ones. There's a nice one there. It's not huge, but it does, it'll be pretty good. Nice little snack anyhow. They really didn't want to grow very well this year over here. So there's the last one I'll take out of here. The rest of them I'll keep in here and uh, I'll just transplant them down here on this far end. That way they can grow down here. All right, we got them planted and uh, we'll see what they'll do. They may not do anything. Might just go to seed now, whatever. I'll have more seeds to plant them. Like I said, I've never had a carrot harvest go so poorly, but you know, it, it, uh, it is what it is. You know, sometimes, sometimes they do good, sometimes they don't. That's all we got off of them. There's some nice ones in there, you know, but nothing to, again, nothing to write home about. Uh, we'll get some, you know, some seeds off of this one here for sure. And that'll be nice um like i said i had two rows planted in here just like i had two rows in there and this front row i planted two or three times and all the times i planted it they died back out for some reason so i don't know if there was something 
going on in the soil or something I was doing, but they definitely didn't want to grow in there this year. So moving along over here to this one, you can see we got tons of these going to seed. We don't need all these going to seed. I mean, yeah, I guess it'd be nice, you know, to have the seeds or whatever, but we don't need them all. So let's move you over here a little bit. Like I said, we don't need all these seeds. Um, I mean, not a lot of people buy carrot seeds. So, and if you think about this, one plant is going to produce a ton of carrots. So, uh, a ton of seeds. So, if we only had like one or two of each of these varieties that are in here uh, making seeds, we'd have plenty enough for us and whoever might want to buy them. Uh, so, because like I said, there's not a lot of people that buy carrot seeds. So, um, we're going to get in here. We're going to start harvesting these. I'm going to go over and start doing a little bit of TikTok and Instagram stuff. We'll bring you back in a second. Okay, guys. So, uh, two of the carrots we got in these rows here. We have, I believe this is the cosmic purple, I believe. It's purple on the outside, orange on the inside. Very, very pretty. Uh, and then I believe this one here is a Kyoto red, I think. I have to go back and look, but it, I'm pretty sure that is a Kyoto red. It looks like a Kyoto red. So those will go real good with, uh, with what we got. We do have some bug infestations uh, here. Uh, you can see uh, the leaves are gone on this on this particular one right here. I guess whenever I sprayed my uh, organic pesticides that uh, they didn't have anywhere else to go. So they came over here and ate the carrots because normally I don't have an issue with carrots. So I hardly ever have to spray them. But I guess because everything else in the yard got treated and the bugs are so bad this year, uh, they said, well, we got to eat something. So they came over here to the carrots and started destroying the carrots on this side. So we're going to have to uh, spray uh, these, probably the ones that we're going to keep for seeds. Probably spray those. Uh, let's pull this one out here. Yeah, that one right there didn't do any good. Uh, it's a, it, that right there is supposed to be a Kyoto red and it's white. So we'll discard that. Uh, of course, it wasn't full of seeds yet anyhow, but uh, let's see here. Another nice little fat cosmic purple. They're fat short carrots. Um, replant that one there. I do plant them very, very, very thick, and I allow them to kind of thin themselves out. You guys can see there. You know, they're, they're just fat little snacking carrots. They can get longer than this, um, you know. But uh, like I said, uh, we we're, it got hot. We're not finished. They're not finished growing yet. So uh, we'll we'll keep that one. And we'll replant that one. Yeah, I think I might still just put more dirt in there. Let me go grab some more dirt and we'll be back. Okay guys, so filled this bed up. Um, I put three of these buckets of sand in here and got that going. Help. I think maybe, even though this soil was very, very uh, loose composted soil, uh, it's still had a little bit of compaction down in the bottom. So just in case that was the issue or maybe drainage was the issue, maybe there was too much water or something like that uh, might've been an issue. So just in case we went on ahead and we added the sand and we added uh, Malibu compost right here, okay? Um, we added two bags of that stuff. So it's really good stuff. Highly recommend growing in it. I pretty well here now. Now that we've gotten it filled up, cleaned up, Dirt. Back here. Dirt back here. All right, A lot of people will say that this here is a no-no, but I transplant all my giant carrots and I've done really well with them. So I've never had any issues with, uh, man, that pipe's gonna be the death of me if I don't quit pulling around. So there's those. Let me see here. We'll put 
couple, two cauliflowers in there. We'll see if they'll do anything or not. They may, they might not. We don't know. We'll put one right here. And one right here. And let's find something to put in that center there. Let's put this uh, big old thing of parsley in that center. This here is triple parsley. Put it there in the center. that now over here on this side it needs work but we'll pull with that at a later date plant one parsley here single parsley over here all right so there's that there's all planted up and yeah, not bad little harvest of carrots wasn't great but yeah, it is what it is. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. We're going to figure out what else we're going to do today, and we'll bring you back. Hey, guys. So I've done a little digging just to see what we got in there. And these little Parisians right here, they are not they don't get very long. They get, they're kind of short and fat, as you can see here. They look like they're ready to harvest. You know, they're, they're pretty short, fat, and kind of exploding. So let's pick them. Let's see what we got here. Definitely gotta get this out of here. It's a, one of these real bad thorny weeds. I hate these weeds. Horrible. Let's see. Eh, not ready just yet. Still growing. Have we got any ones over here that might be a little bit bigger? Checking them out. See what they're looking like. And over here they did exceptionally well. I don't know how big they are just yet. Yeah, I got some nice little orange ones here for snacks. That's a decent one there. get some zip ties real quick tomato plant up to the stalk of this right here that's why I kept it right here so I could zip tie it okay all right guys so Here's the orange ones we harvested. Got some pretty decent yellow ones out of there and a couple white ones. So we're gonna clean all these up. I got some more plans for some more stuff in there. I'll have to get it going and stuff, but let's get these clean. Right, guys, let's see here. Nine pounds, that don't seem right. Let me fix this a little bit better. It was pretty much on. So, let's uh, make sure all the tops were there. So, anyhow, uh, I already zeroed the scale out. The basket weighs 10.2 ounces. So that was already zeroed out. And so we got nine pounds uh, on there. So nine pound worth of uh, carrots and carrot tops um, carrot tops can be eaten and so we're going to eat some of those and uh, figure out what we can do with the rest maybe dry them out I don't know we're going to figure out what we can do with the rest of them uh, and then we'll uh, we'll can the carrots and eat them for for snacks so uh, let's show you how we're going to clean them up all right y'all so it's pretty simple how we're going to harvest these oh goodness it's so hot out here all right let's see here can undo all this here. 
Get it off the scale. I need a scale no more. Turn that off. Sit it over here. All right, let's see here. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Let's, I'll tell you what. Let's take all of them and just set them all out here. Like so. Just like that right there. Boy, them are going to be some of the prettiest carrots you ever did see. I'm not kidding you one bit. Them are some beautiful carrots. I need to get Sissy out here to hold some of these for a thumbnail. Now, let me get her out here real quick and give her some carrots and get a thumbnail for this video. Huh? Huh? Let's get a thumbnail, old dude. Huh? Goodness. <laughs> uh, Y'all need to meet Elmer, the real Elmer. All right. Yeah, Thank you, guys. Huh? So we're going to eat them while Mom's gone? You can eat them. Yeah, you can eat some of them. We can't eat all of them because we got to use some of them for for some canning and stuff. Mm -hmm. Some fermenting and stuff like that, okay? But you can be sure enough going to eat some of them. I know that because there's plenty plenty here to eat and I'll have plenty more growing. So we'll, we'll get some more. We want to eat a bunch. We don't like yeah. to eat a bunch of yeah. <laughs> or vegetables. Oh, yeah. Too oh, much yeah. Oh, I, I hear that all the time. And then I go in there to look for something, and there ain't nothing in there to Did have. I cut something. Y'all eat, y'all eat like horses. <laughs> we don't eat a bunch of carrots. I can't see They're this I can't many. See that. Well, I guarantee you, Dad, you'll eat these. These are good. I can't see up. All right, y'all. Yeah. All right. I can't see up. Next I can't day. eat a bunch of carrots. I'll. My tummy would hurt, and I would get sick. Yeah. I can't see. I'm That's why I hate to eat too many vegetables. I'm gonna put mm. them on the scale. No, I already learned it. No, I already put them on the scale. We already weighed right, them. I already learned my lesson last year because my tummy was hurting. I'm gonna do my lesson to not eat too many vegetables. Did you buy the apple? Bad for one? my tummy. I eat too many vegetables. Is that bad for my tummy? No, it's not bad for your tummy. Well, you can't that's eat too many. That's what you need to be eating. Vegetables. I got one not working. Yeah, but uh, you can't, you can't, can't eat the whole. Not working. You can't eat a whole bunch of them. One eternity later. That tiny, have I? Mm. Are we done now, Dad? Nope, we still got a couple in there. We have uh, three. Three now. Um. One right here. Let me check if you missed any. Okay. I'll tell you if you missed any. Oh, here's one. Yep. I'm going for it. Are we done? I think we've gotten hey, them all. Hey, I saw. I think I saw one. Mm -hmm. I think we got them all, honey. Can I, I hold the basket? Them. Can you hold the basket? I suppose. I can hold the basket. Let me see. That's a pretty decent little amount of character. It's yeah, cool. not very heavy. Oh, me. there's one. Oh, one more left. Let's make sure we get them all. Do we get them all? Mm -hmm. Well, we'll check that whenever we go to clean them up. Oh. I'm gonna wash mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. Just a piece of cat food. We'll clean all these up. Pass clean them up and get them going. All right. Which carrot do you want to eat first? Um, me. Okay. Which Her. one? Um, you want to eat a purple one? I want to eat the big one. I want to eat the orange one. <laughs> I want to eat the orange one. That one's nice looking. All right. So y'all see, it's nice and yellow, orange in the inside. All right, Care Bear. Ted, taste it. The big orange one. Yeah, you like it? Is it good? I All right. Okay, you want the big orange one? Okay. I'm going to try a red one. Has anybody tried a red one yet? No. Here you go, Kay. You're welcome. That's a very earthy. No, I took that back. About good. Tastes like a regular yeah, carrot. That's good. Almost. Well, it's yellow on the inside. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it has a bitter after now. A very bitter after You like after that? And nobody tried a white one yet. What's wrong with the white ones? Y'all got something against the white ones? They look like the hot thing that people grow. Can't remember what they're called. It's good. It tastes really good. The red ones taste like a normal pear at first, but then they get a bitter mm. after note. I tried this one. Right. With ranch. I tried this one next. Okay. With ranch, it tastes okay. I can't 
Okay, this one back too. Pretty good. All right, guys. So, uh, right here, we have giant bells. We have some uh, long Ukraine right here. Uh, giant peppers right here in the center of this one. We have the 452 gross, which is a tomato plant. Right here, we're going to have the 12 foot knox. It's a giant okra. That's right here in, the, in this pot right here in the center. Um, right here we have giant, um, goodness, giant, <laughs> can't think of their name, loofah gourds, loofahs right here in the back from there. All the way over to there. Um, I'm really trying to break that loofah record this year. So we'll have these growing in the smart pots. I have them growing along the entire fence line down that way from the red from the red gate all the way over to the pine trees. That's probably 30 foot long. I've got them planted over there. Over here, I have them planted on that whole fence over there in the giant uh, patch right there. Um, so we'll see how those do. I have some more giant okras over there as well in that 45 gallon container. I've got some giant carrots started today for these uh, containers to grow some of those in. So I gotta save a spot for that. Put this over here real quick in the 45 gallon pot. Two of them there we have. 12.9 brown, 17.9 pound. Don't know who in the UK. 30 set, 33 inch long, and a Barrett cucumber plants over here. And these, those will grow along the fence. We have uh, in the center of it. I think I planted some more loofahs down here in the center. I think, but I don't know. I think we're gonna let those. I think I'm gonna dig them up. And uh, once they come up. All right, so moving along here, um, plenty of room in these raised beds. Well, yeah, this stuff here is going to be crawling up. This stuff here will be going up. All right, so uh, giant beets. So we got some giant beets here. So I'll take uh, a couple of these here. All right, so I'll put one giant beet right here in the center of this one there's one there I'll put another one right here in this corner those should do pretty well in here I think and let's see here I actually want to try another one over here in the center of this one There's three giant beets. Let's see here. I'll put one there. We'll put one here. I think I can probably fit another one right here somewhere. Yeah, we'll put one right here in this corner right here. Should be plenty of room. All right, so now we just need to mark those. The workmen. Giant beet roots. So we got. It's a workman. It's there. There in the corner. And this 
one here. Center. This one goes over here. So, got that. All right, now what do we got left in here? No, 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 no. We've got some Australian Dad. birdhouse gourds. The goes in your garden, Dad. Uh, uh, don't go in there. Yeah, he's in there. No. Move, move. All right, so I have these long gourd, long handled dipper gourd cross right here. I thought these were very interesting. Um, I think they'd be pretty cool. I just don't know where I can grow them at. Probably need to try to plant them in a, in a thing back here. Let me go plant them back here real quick. All right, so let's see here. I thought those was a pretty cool cross. The long handled dipper gourds and a, and a long gourd cross. It just sounds really cool. So, let me see here. But all I had was two seeds of those. Pray to God that they germinate and take off. Because if they do, that'd be a pretty cool, pretty cool cross, I think. All right. Okay. Could you go get him? Yes, I'm coming. Now let's see what we've got left. We got the Australian birdhouse ones left. Got these eggplants. Got some more heavy beet roots here. Tell you what I'm gonna do. Up here in this corner here, I'm just gonna plant whatever that left in this pouch right here. See if they'll come up or not. I don't know if they will, they're kind of crushed. I'm just gonna plant them all. If anything comes up, all right. If it don't, all right. Okay, so. Aubergines, aubergines. Um, let's see here. Plant one aubergine right here. This is a world record strain. It's off of the glaze brook. Let's see if it comes up or not. some more stuff so we can start some more stuff be right back all right guys got some uh, long runner beans here like that we we'll put them over here in these spots kind of grow with our cucumbers shouldn't shouldn't be a big deal it should help provide some of the nutrients wow them are some massive beans y'all Check him things out. I thought these were big. Them ain't nothing like these. I do have my own that I grew last year. These here are from records.
there's those so I got a little bit of room left in these I'll leave that for giant carrots and whatnot I'm gonna go in and get my bag of beans find some cukes and we'll start planting beans and cucumbers around the yard the entire one acre perimeter all right guys let's we'll do go it. down through here planting some beans along through here I'm gonna start with these succotash beans succotash beans were really good last year I liked them real well so I'm gonna start with those a little hole in the ground put a couple beans in the hole put it back put a couple beans in the ground like so this fence line here first we gotta tie it up because it's loose Dad, i want to show you something hold on cat i hear it they're loose oh no they're gone they're back they're back huh? okay Whew. i was worried for a minute i thought oh no mommy's gonna whoop my butt put another corn it's a full corn you know children of the corn um, I see the buddy. You know children of the corn? Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. What program plays the Finished weeding all this, but for now, it's fine. Good enough to put some giant spotlight runners down in here. So, Did you tell my pop to give me those flowers? No, I didn't. All right, we got giant scarlet runners planted here now. I got other beans and stuff I need to plant. I'm just going to do that off camera because there's so much going on right now. So guys, we're going to get on out of here. Uh, we're going to plant the rest of this stuff this evening before the rain gets in. Um, as soon as everything comes up, we'll do an update video and show y'all where stuff is growing and what's what. Uh, but anyhow, guys, we appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time right here in Hollers and Hills of West Virginia. See you guys. Don't forget to smash that like button. Bell. <laughs> Don't get the Good job. Here you go. Thank you. Don't get the Don't forget to share. Yep. There you go. Good job. And, and subscribe. subscribe.